what are we thinking? Jumpers jump, right? Exactly. This guy has that capacity, but he's not going over. Something's off. Yeah, no, that's what I'm thinking, but what? It's like he's waiting for something. Hmm, that's a clip from the thriller Man on a Ledge that opens today. Our movie guy Aaron Lafferty saw the movie earlier this week, and let's just say he was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, yeah I, you know, I kept my expectations a little bit lower for this one. Okay. Um, you know, being a January release, you can't expect too much. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not an Oscar-type movie. But, you know, it did keep my attention. It kept me interested and kept me, you know, going. Maybe it wasn't the best movie, but it was good. I have some reservations, which I explained on my blog. Um, Sam Worthington is a guy who uh, went to prison for a diamond heist. So he's out to um, clear his name from the guy that he stole the diamond from, allegedly. And that's why he's out on the ledge. He's okay. trying to get everybody's attention. He's trying to clear his name. There are some twists in this, and I'm not going to give it away because then you're not going to be as excited about the movie as, oh, as I okay. was. Once you start wow. figuring things out, it's... There's a little mystery what's in here. On. Yeah, there's, some, there's, some, cool. there's more going on than just a guy on a ledge that might be jumping. All mm -hmm. right. Well, good. So. Interesting. So the fact that you say you were pleasantly surprised means that that's mm. not bad. You're yeah. a tough cookie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not easy to please. Yeah. Check it out, maybe. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, this next movie is going to be a real big one. Yes. That's what I've heard. Yes. The, the Gray is getting good reviews. This is Liam Neeson. Um, he's, he's part of a group of guys that work uh, in the oil industry, and they get involved in a plane crash. They're up what in the, the Arctic and uh, he's, he's part of the crew. He knows about uh, the terrain. He knows about the inhabitants of this mm -hmm. area, which are wolves, mm -hmm. oh. because he's a, sh a sharp shooter for the oil company. He's actually trained to pick off the wolves if they get too close to the company's um, workers and you know around the, the offices and all that stuff. So he knows about the wolves. So he, uh, you may be thinking, well, why would this guy know how to defend himself against wolves? Because he, this is what he does. So okay. hmm. it might be a little far-fetched, but uh, it's actually getting pretty, pretty decent reviews. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. It's rated R. It is rated R. Obviously, uh, mm -hmm. men fighting wolves in the Arctic. It's, <laughs> it's going to get a little bit graphic. <laughs> yes, Indeed. exactly. Okay, there's one that's getting a whole lot of, um, let's just say promotional help. There's a group on for it. I'm mm -hmm. guessing that means it's maybe not the best movie you're it, It's probably not the best reviewed movie this weekend, but it's certainly one that will get a lot of attention. Um, and obviously the eight West viewers would be interested in this. Um, okay, it's you're a, saying it's a chick flick. Wait, slam on us. Don't be offended. <laughs> We've learned not saying it's a chick flick, but it is a <laughs> Catherine <laughs> Heigl. How about it? It's a yeah. Catherine Heigl movie. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I'll just say that. Yeah, I love her. This is actually, uh, it's based on a series of books, and I think there's like 18 of them. It's yeah, one for the money. Um, basically, she's a woman who's recently divorced, recently unemployed, and she's looking for a job. She ends up becoming a bounty hunter. Mm -hmm. We've, I think we've seen this movie before. Yeah, exactly. uh, is that Debbie Reynolds in there with her? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. So that's the parents. She's, you know, she's trying to live at home. Obviously, uh, when you're a certain age, it starts to become difficult to live at home. <laughs> well, <Wow>, Aaron's <laughs> winking at me. <laughs> this might be something you'll deal with later. Yeah, too. maybe so. Yeah. Um, anyway, so basically, she sets out to become a bounty hunter. And that's her new thing. This is one for the money. It's based on a series of books. Like I said, there's there's like 18 of them. I don't know if really? they're gonna make okay. all 18, but uh, <laughs> but if it does well enough, they'll probably make another one. Oh, okay. yeah. And it is PG-13. Okay, so. Those are the movies that are in wide, wide release, release right. but as we know, there are always movies in limited release sure. at theaters. What are those picks? Uh, the one that I think most people are going to be interested in is The Descendants of George Clooney. Sure. Um, this was nominated for five Oscars and also won the Golden Golden Globe for Best I, I would love to see this. Best this picture, looks right. really good. Um, George Clooney is a... Uh, he's a, a land baron, he's in Hawaii. Um, his wife gets in, a, in an accident and she drops into a coma. And so he's trying to reconnect with his daughters. There, there's been some family drama there. And uh, I'm not giving too much away. I'm, I'm pretty sure most people know this. He finds out his wife was cheating on him. Yeah, I think while it was she's in a, in a preview. Coma. So you probably, you probably already you know. I'm not giving too much away there. So, anyways, this obviously it's a movie. It's uh, being considered one of George Clooney's best roles. It's Did probably he, a he favorite. Write it because he's yeah, he's one of the writers, in a couple of one of the writers and producers on this, um, and uh, worked with Alexander Payne, which was the director on this one. Which they really worked well together. This is rated R, but it's it's in most theaters this weekend. It's it's a wider release. It's not completely wide. It's in most theaters this okay. weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. That's, okay. So that's one of the limited releases. You also have um, Glenn Close, which uh, is. She got an Oscar nomination for Albert Knobs. Uh, that's only at Celebration North. She basically, she dresses as a man to c continue working. This is like uh, 1800s Ireland, so she's got to try to keep working. The only way is for her to be a man, so she dresses up. Um, and Dangerous Method is at Rivertown and, and uh, Star Grand Rapids. That's um, about the early days of psychology. Mm -hmm. um, and then Shame, 
which we talked about last week, is now at Celebration South. That's the okay. NC-17 rated one. Uh, no children admitted to that one. No, okay. <coughs> definitely See, not. You talked a little bit about uh, right. the Descendants and the Oscar buzz. Right. Big week in right. Hollywood. It is a big, big week. Everybody's talking about the Oscars. So what I wanted to do, instead of doing my picks this week, I wanted to uh, go through kind of where you can see some of these movies. Um, there are nine Best Picture nominees this year. We had ten last year. The Academy thought maybe some movies slipped in because they said we were going to do ten. So this year they decided to do between five and ten. Mm -hmm. This year we get nine. Okay. Um, among those, obviously, The Artist, The Descendants, those are going to be your favorites. Extremely loud and incredibly close. The Help, Hugo, Midnight in Paris, Moneyball, Tree of Life, and War Horse. A couple that didn't make the list that were notable, Drive, The Ides of March, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Um, there's always going to be some movies that aren't going to make it. What's weird is this year it seems like there was more than ten that we could have had, and right. now we only yeah. get nine, had so it's kind of weird. Okay, this is early on still. I don't know if you've seen all the movies, mm. and you might be heading to the theaters too to kind of catch up. I have three up. left. What are you thinking that might get the best picture you this year? Early my, on, you I know you might change your mind. You know what? Bit, but this she's going to try to then come up and beat you. Right. So I would just hold what? it close to your vest. <laughs> well, if, if because any, we have a contest every year. Every we year. Can pick them, mm -hmm. but if, yeah. I am curious because there are some people that say, okay, I'm going to be able to see one or two. Mm -hmm. What should they see? Well, if, if we uh, bring up that CG page, um, the two that have the most nominations are Hugo and the Artist. So I would say those would be your two favorites. Okay. And here's why. Hugo and the Artist Talk about um, the history of cinema. The Academy loves movies about the it's movie so, industry. Yeah, yeah, really? So they fall in love Not with these movies. Not narcissistic or anything. Yeah, no <laughs> surprise that Hugo had 11 and Artist had 10 nominations. Okay. So if those are the two that you want to see before the Oscars, if you haven't seen them yet. Have you seen those? Uh, I saw Hugo because it was earlier this uh, in the fall, and The Artist just came out here last week. Okay. Um, the Hu Hugo's actually only at in Kalamazoo this weekend. Okay. Um, Celebration's trying to get it back. There's some distributor things that they have to work out, and they're trying to get that back and to play it at Woodland Mall. Um, Hugo doesn't come out on DVD till April. The artist doesn't come out on DVD till April. Of course. So if you want to see him before the Oscars, you got to see him in the theaters. Yeah, well, and yeah. I would think those movies you'd want to see in the theater, especially the artist, just to get yeah. that yeah. feel. That feel. And, and remember, the artist is a silent movie. Yeah. Right. And do some you feel have like it still like didn't drag? I, as you were in there watching I, it, I can't wait no to see sound. it. I haven't seen it yet, so okay. I, can't, I can't wait to see it. Um, that's at Celebration North and also at uh, Kalamazoo City. I just ran in Moneyball last weekend. I really right. liked it. it. It was my favorite movie so far. I, I don't know if The Artist and The Descendants, and there's one more that I can't remember that I haven't seen yet. Uh, oh, Extremely Loud, Incredibly yes. Close. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. are the three I haven't seen yet. So um, War Horse is in wide release. The Descendants, as we just talked about. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which I think should have gotten more nominations, but I'm glad it got a Best Picture nom. That was good. Um, is in limited release. It's still in theaters, and that doesn't come out on DVD until March. Mm -hmm. So most of these movies you won't be able to see on DVD until after the Oscars, except for The Help, Midnight in Paris, Tree of Life. All those are on uh, DVD now. Okay. The Help's also playing at Woodland. Uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy is only in Kalamazoo City Place 14. Again, they'll probably try to work these movies back into Woodland Mall at least, so you can see some $4 Oscar nominees. Mm -hmm. um, Albert Knobs, we talked about, and Extremely Loud, Incredibly Close, just came out last week in West Michigan. Did so. you see okay. Iron Lady? You've seen that one? No. No. Not yet. That, w that did not get a best picture? That did not get a best picture, so I think oh, I'm going to okay. wait to rent that one. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's one I I've really want to I've got to kind of choose my, yeah. my battles there. Because, you know, you'd be here. seeing a movie every night <laughs> yes. to hit all those categories. I have a bucket you can borrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking last night. It's like, okay, we're m matching out. we got to see like two movies a week before yeah, the sure. Oscars. Okay, yes. so we've just thrown a lot of movie information at right. you. Uh, you can go to Aaron's blog. Right and follow that too because you have the lists there right, basically. I've got, I've got the list of where all the movies, I kind of did it in order of which ones have the most nominations. So I start with Hugo and work my way down to the movies that only have about two nominations. Um, also to note, uh, we talked about this earlier this week, The Ides of March, which originally scouted Grand Rapids, that got a nomination for uh, screenplay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the only nomination it got, even though George Clooney and the cast were so good. And then Real Steel, um, has also got a nomination for visual effects. So wow. it's nice to see some Michigan yeah. made movies yeah. got some nominations, even if they're not the big nominations. Yeah, Fantastic. and you're on Facebook, Twitter, and woodtv.com as well. And YouTube. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Man About Town. Thanks, Aaron. We appreciate it. We'll be right back. See you guys.